Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome if you are new. Today I have another house plan unboxing for you guys, this time from a place called Glass Houseworks. Before we get on with opening this box, there are two things I just need to let you guys know. First, that this is not a sponsored or collaborative video. I ordered these plants on my own dime. And secondly, Glass Houseworks runs on a propagate to order basis for the most part. Meaning if you order plants from them, they're gonna take a while to get to you because they have to propagate them. So this box right here, I think I ordered roughly a month and a half to two months ago. So if you look at their website, their prices are very reasonable for the plants that they have, and they have a very wide selection of plants, but they have to propagate them for you once you order them. So you're probably not gonna see the plants for at least a month, if not two. Okay, so it's time to open it. And I will say, I'm a little nervous to open this, not because of Glass Houseworks, but because we've had a heat wave here in Philadelphia over the last few days, and on top of that, my package got stuck in the mail. So, um, like I said, I'm related to Glass Houseworks. I'm just a little nervous to see if anything got damaged from the heat. I'm already expecting to see some newspaper pieces from this piece of newspaper coming out of the box. Okay, so there is a lot of newspaper, but that's okay. And I'm seeing some leaves that look undamaged from heat, so I think we're in the clear. But all right, so here they have just some quarantine information and my invoice right here. And they have a few notes, so I will actually include a screenshot right now of my invoice and the notes just so you can see kind of what it looks like and also how much I spent on all of these plants. We have quite the mess to clean up after this, but I think I will be happy with what I receive. So, right here, you can see some philodendron leaves. I believe these all should have a tag in them. Oh wow, this is quite viney to begin with. Okay, feels a little warm, but the leaves do not look damaged whatsoever, which is mostly what I was worried about. I think that's the first place we would see heat damage, so I'm just gonna not talk about the heat damage anymore <laughs> unless it comes up because that has literally nothing to do with this company. This one is a philodendron domesticum. So I think this is just called a spade leaf philodendron, and it's pretty plain as you can see. It kind of reminds me of my philodendron arabescens red emerald, um, but it doesn't have that red stem. But I figured this plant was like really cheap, <laughs> really inexpensive I should say. So I figured why not give it a go, and honestly, for I think the $5 that it costed, this is like a really good sized plant. So obviously it's a little floppy because it was probably in the mail over the, the heat wave. This is a really really good quality plant and I'm already really thrilled to see what else is in here. Let's get a little bit more of this out of the way. Okay, we have a little one right here. A very little one. <laughs> so, this is, ah, okay. So this is a Peperomia Trailing Jade. I think they might call this Peperomia Kimnachii. I could be wrong. This one's really small. Um, it was very inexpensive once again, so I'm not really upset with how much this costed. If this was even for sale at a local shop here, it would definitely cost at least double the price for this size. But wow, this is a really little cute one, honestly. I'm really happy to add it to my collection, even though I'm reading here on the, the invoice that they wrote, the slowest and most plain of the peperomias. I do not stand understand its appeal, which I think is very silly, and it makes me feel like they're very down-to-earth people, so I really appreciate that. I'm already really thrilled with these plants I received. It was very much worth the wait, and I'm only too deep. I think they were the two that costed me the least amount of money. So I have a rather big looking one right here. So let's pull this one out. I can kind of show you guys how we're looking. And I don't think I really specified how they're packaged. So they're wrapped in newspaper, and then they have a bunch of little newspaper clippings, frillies, confetti, and then so that really keeps the plants in place. It's kind of, you know, not the most ideal thing for my cleanup after I'm done filming, but hey, it's keeping these plants safe. So, let's see, these leaves are pretty funky. These are actually, these look like these leaves were very, very large on the mother plant and they had to cut them, which is a little bit unfortunate. I always like to keep in mind what my plants are gonna look like six months later than I purchase them, than when I actually get them, because first of all, they have to adapt to your home and there's, it's very, not very likely, but it's possible that your plants can lose a bunch of leaves when you bring them home. So it's really more about the new growth that they put off. So let's see what this one is. This is a Philodendron Mexicanum. So I think this was the one that I spent the most money on, which is a little disappointing that they cut the leaves. However, I really can't be disappointed that I have this plant in my collection now because this is really large. And on top of that, it has a brand new leaf coming in. So at least I have something 
wow, this is really funky. I don't think I really get to see the fullest appeal of this plant until I do get a new leaf, which once again is kind of a shame, but on the bright side, we do have this new one coming in right here. The reason I picked out this plant is because it has like these lobed leaves. So as you can see, they kind of chopped the bottom part of the leaf and then they have these two lobes right here. Um, same with this one right here. So you'll be seeing this plant down, plant down the line once it grows in for me. Until then, it's going kind of underwhelming, I will admit. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I already love the look of this leaf right here. Actually, I said at the beginning I was going to include the invoice, but I'm going to mention right now I'm probably going to include the end so that I don't spoil any surprises so you guys, you know, get the full unboxing experience. Okay, so what do we have here? I love these leaves. I think the stems are a little broken, which is kind of a shame. Um, only one of them is a little bit broken, as you can see right here. I'm just going to leave it and see if it kind of heals. Um, but let me tell you what this plant is called. So this is a Philodendron elegans. So this is a rather rare one, which is why I purchased it. Once again, has a new leaf coming in. A little disappointing in the way that the stems are snapped. I gotta keep in mind what this plant's gonna look like in six months versus what it looks like when it comes to my home. They propagate these on a propagate to order basis. So keeping in mind plants that I have cut off my own plants and then propagated, they have grown exponentially since then, so I just got to keep that in mind whenever I have a situation like this. There are a few more in here. I don't know exactly how many are in here. So, this one's rather small as well. This is a little peperomia. And I will say, back to the heat thing, I was most worried about the peperomias than the philodendrons because I feel like peperomias don't handle high heat very well. This one is a peperomia silver bandit. So it's got this lovely like little silver splash on the leaf. It's kind of plain, honestly. It reminds me of like my peperomia rana verde. And it's pretty small, but as I said, the prices on these were very inexpensive. I feel like this is the only one that really got like jostled around in the mail. So honestly, this is probably the only one I might like repot right away. Most of the time I recommend leaving your plants um, in their pot when you bring them into your home if they get sent in the mail or even if you buy them from the plant shop Just because they've been going all over the place and they need to adapt to your home or at least acclimate to your home So definitely might repot this one just because it's kind of shifted inside the pot It's kind of hard to see on camera, but really beautiful. I'm really shocked with how lovely this leaf looks I think it's really showing up nice from that light, but really funky a peperomia I've never seen before in a plant shop this one looks like a philodendron lemon lime. So, I don't think I ordered this, however, I heard they send you extra plants. So this was probably not a mistake whatsoever. This was probably something they purposely sent me. So it is, in fact, a philodendron scandens aria. So it's a lemon lime one. And that's actually pretty cool. I have one that I grow in my bedroom that grows incredibly well. So now I have one for my living room. It's a little floppy, once again, it's been going through the mail. Also, you gotta keep in mind, when things get sent through the mail in general, they're gonna be kind of like sad looking because they've been going through the mail. They usually perk up within a few days, so if I have the time, I'll include some footage of some of these plants um, after they've been in my home for a few days before I upload the video, but yeah, they will definitely perk up and kind of, you know, they're a little ruffled as you can see, but that's definitely gonna work itself out over the next few days. So this one, I did not order, but it was a freebie that they sent. They did not miss a plant. So this one was a nice little freebie I got, which makes it, you know, makes the, it worth the wait when they send you something a little bit extra, which is very nice. Okay, and then I have one more. I forget what this one is. I know it's a philodendron. Oh, I remember. Okay, so this one is a philodendron fenslii. I've never heard of this one, and I saw it on their site, and I was like, I have to have it. And it looks incredible. Look at these leaves. Like, look at that. This is probably the one I'm most excited about. Good thing it was the last one. Um, I, I just really enjoy these leaves. I love how they have these two lobes on the outside. This one is in incredible condition. I'd say the, the new leaf is obviously like a little bit like messed up, but like it's gonna harden off over the next few days anyway, so I'm not really concerned about that, but wow, really, really lovely plant. 
I'm really thrilled with all of the stuff that they sent me. Obviously, it wasn't like the best quality on planet Earth, but my cat's playing with a toy. It wasn't the best quality on planet Earth, but um, understanding that they're a small business working on a propagate to order basis, I'm like really impressed with what I'm seeing. I kind of regret saying it's not the highest quality because they're working with a lot of rare plants on their website if you do look through their website. So they have a ton of things you're not gonna find anywhere else. At the price that I received these plants, I'm kind of shocked at how inexpensive they were. So yeah, really, really impressed with all the things that they had to offer. I will definitely be placing an order with them once again. Probably not this year, probably in the upcoming year, just because it is kind of a time-consuming thing. I mean, not time-consuming in the sense of it takes up your time, but it takes them time to get it to you. So maybe like once a year, I'll scope through their website and see what's cool, what I'd like to order, and then place a nice order that I can expect in the upcoming months. Now I will include a screenshot of the invoice, as I mentioned earlier, so you guys can see what all of these plants are called and what they were priced at. I think all of them were very reasonable. I'd say the one that I spent the most on was slightly disappointing that the leaves were chopped, but honestly, it's gonna grow exponentially, I can tell, in like the next few years, so I'm feeling pretty confident about it. When I receive a philodendron, I know it's gonna grow pretty well for me because they are generally easy plants, so that one aside, I'm absolutely thrilled with the plants that I received today. I will include a link to their website in my description and I highly recommend checking it out. Do keep in mind, I will mention for like the fifth time, that they are on a propagate to order basis. So if you place an order with them, it's going to take at least a month, if not two, for the plants to get to you. So just keep that in mind. I don't want you guys blowing up their customer service department if you order plants and you're like, where are they in a week? Because most places will send you plants in a week, but most places aren't operating on a propagate to order basis. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I'm so excited to get these plants in the mail. It's been really nice. I've been kind of holding out on buying some new plants lately, so it was really nice to get this box that I ordered a month or two ago, which is kind of even like a silver lining to them taking a month or so to ship because you order these plants and then like a month later you're like, oh my god, these plants are here, and then you get to enjoy the plants that you ordered a month ago. So yeah, it's definitely a rewarding thing to try out. Thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing video today. It was a lot of fun. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.